try to figure out everything you can about this object. This arrow is supposed to be pointing straight up. This arrow is pointing straight up. Try to pause the video and use the skills we've worked on to figure out as much as you can about this object. Well, first thing we have to do with the velocity is break it into components. We draw a right triangle with the overall vector as the hypotenuse, and we label the sides. Please remember to always label the sides and put arrows on them. Well, the overall vector is pointing up and to the right. So our legs are pointing to the right and up. And now we can interpret that. Um, our horizontal velocity is to the right. We're moving right. And our vertical velocity is up. We're moving up. Now, how about the acceleration over here? Well, notice that um, the acceleration here is pointing straight up. What that basically means is that it doesn't have a horizontal component. There is no horizontal component to this acceleration, so we can write the horizontal component of this acceleration is zero. It would be quite useful to actually write this down for this problem. If a vector is pointing straight up, then it doesn't have a horizontal component. So notice that you shouldn't bother trying to draw a right triangle based on this. If you try to draw a right triangle based on this with a horizontal leg and a vertical leg, uh, you failed. There's no way to draw a right triangle that has this as the hypotenuse which also has a horizontal and a vertical leg. After all, um, remember that the overall vector is supposed to be the hypotenuse. Well, if the overall vector is the hypotenuse, that's already pointing vertically. So how can we also have another leg that's vertical? That wouldn't make sense. If the hypotenuse is already vertical, you can't draw a right triangle where one of the, where one of the legs is vertical. So there's no way to break this into a right triangle, but there's no need. We can see just from looking at it that the horizontal acceleration here is zero. So here's the overall acceleration, and this is also the vertical acceleration. So in this case, the overall acceleration is the same as the vertical acceleration because there is no horizontal component. So this would be the best way to deal notationally with this situation. All right, so what can we say about our horizontal motion? Well, horizontally, we have zero acceleration. Now, I hope that you're at the point where it's very easy for you to interpret a zero acceleration because that's one of the most important skills to get from your physics course. We know that if the acceleration were um, uh, parallel to the velocity, we would be having increasing speed. And if the acceleration was anti-parallel to the velocity, we'd be having decreasing speed. Well, then if the acceleration is zero, our speed is neither increasing nor decreasing, it's constant. So our horizontal speed here must be constant. Our horizontal speed must be constant. A zero acceleration means constant speed. Notice that zero acceleration does not mean that you're not moving. The acceleration doesn't tell you how you're moving. It's the velocity that tells you how you're moving. All the acceleration tells you is how the speed is changing. And in this case, the speed is not changing. Or in general, the acceleration tells you how the velocity is changing. Uh, but again, our x component of our velocity is not changing here. And then it should be a lot uh, more straightforward to interpret the y component here. Um, so our uh, vertical acceleration is pointing up, and our vertical velocity is also pointing up. So a sub y is parallel to v sub y, so vertically we're speeding up. Our vertical speed is increasing. Because a sub y is parallel to v sub y. All right, so here's another reminder of how to interpret a uh, zero acceleration. Uh, now, um, I think in the past we've usually thought of just a case where the overall acceleration was zero, but now we just have one component that's zero. Well, if your x component of uh, the acceleration is zero, then um, your horizontal speed is constant. And if your um, y component of the acceleration is zero, then your vertical speed is constant. And if both components were zero, then your overall speed would be constant. This object is moving to the right at constant speed and also simultaneously moving up with increasing speed, increasing vertical speed. So we've seen, uh, I said before that you cannot really use the overall vectors. If you're given the overall vector, you have to break them into components. Well, here's a little bit of an exception. If you're given an overall vector that only has one component, then you don't really have to break it down. In a sense, it's already broken down. So here we were given the overall acceleration. 
Um, but that didn't have a horizontal component, so it was already giving us its own vertical component. Uh, this arrow is supposed to be pointing straight to the left. You should interpret this as an arrow that's pointing straight to the left. So please pause the video and write down everything you can using our previous skills for this object. We have to break the velocity into components. The overall velocity is pointing down and to the right. So we put arrows pointing down and to the right. And now we can interpret um, that uh, the horizontal velocity is to the right, when moving right. And the vertical velocity is down, when moving down. Now, as far as the acceleration is concerned, um, notice that there is no vertical component. It's all horizontal. So we can say that the overall acceleration is the same as the x acceleration. It's all x acceleration, and we can write down that a sub y here would be zero. You can see there's no vertical component because this was supposed to be a line that was pointing straight to the left. Okay, so um, a sub x is pointing to the left, and v sub x is pointing to the right. So horizontally, the acceleration and velocity are anti-parallel. That means that our horizontal speed is decreasing. Our horizontal speed is decreasing. Now, vertically, um, we have no acceleration. Now, remember, no acceleration doesn't mean no motion. The acceleration doesn't tell you about the motion. The acceleration just tells you um, how our speed is changing. Well, the acceleration here is zero, so our vertical speed is not changing. Uh, I hope it's very plain to you that not changing is a synonym for constant. Um, maybe that, that bears repeating, even though it should be kind of obvious. When we say that something's not changing, that's the same as saying that it's constant. When you say that something's constant, that's the same as saying that it's not changing. And that's the same as saying uh, if you say that, uh, so if we say that the vertical acceleration is zero, we mean that the vertical speed is unchanging, which means that it's constant. So here's everything that we can uh, figure out about this object. This object is moving to the right with a decreasing horizontal speed and moving down with a constant vertical speed.